All right, so we're back. Now we're going to check out variations. You've probably seen this section up here, noticed it, and wondered what's going on. I haven't gotten there yet because this is a little bit more of a complex feature, but this is really the heart of Metron. Variations is pretty much the reason why we even started working on this sequencer to begin with, and then it just fleshed out to be a totally new idea and exactly what it is. But variations is a super cool, important part of Metron. So I'm going to go through and explain every aspect of it. And then again, this is another thing to just practice and mess around with and really get the hang of. So right now you can see we're on variation A. I'm just going to do our pattern length button again here, pattern length and page one. That means we're on a 16 step pattern and I'll bring up our sequence here. So variation is what we are calling a pattern. We have five to choose from and we can pull any of them up or edit them at any time. So here's my variation. And as you can see, we're looking at variation A. If I go to variation B, it's completely blank. You know that you're editing a variation if it's breathing like this, that slow in and out glowing LED. That is letting you know that you're editing that variation. If the variation button is glowing bright, just like this guy, that means that that's the one that's playing. So now we'll go to variation B and we'll just program something while A is playing. So A is still playing. We're gonna mess around with our hi-hat pattern here. We'll go in and play with a little bit of uh, Chimera and then we'll go through and just do a completely new random sequence for the um, architect. So when we want to follow to the next variation, we're just gonna tap that button again and you'll see it start to blink. So it's this is breathing and then you can see it's blinking when I hit it a second time. If it's blinking quickly, that means it's gonna go at the end of the bar. So we're on variation A again. I'm gonna do my duplicate pattern length trick and now I've got a four bar sequence. I'm gonna go into B and during bar one of A, I'm just gonna tap B again. You can see that it's blinking slowly. This means it's coming up, and then when it's blinking fast, that means it's gonna change at the end of that current bar. So now we can duplicate variations as well. So we'll hold the duplicate button. Let's say I wanna duplicate A and I wanna put it on C. So now A's pattern data is stored on C. So we just say go to C and now we're checking it out. So again, C is a four bar pattern. I'm gonna turn it into an eight bar pattern with our duplicate pattern length function again. So duplicate pattern length. And then I'm gonna go through here and grab my claps and just make a little bit more variation here. All right, so there's my variation. I've got like pretty cool variation on C. And let's say I want to switch to B at the end of variation. So I'll hit it twice. It's blinking slow, blinks fast on eight, and then it changes, right? So we just covered that. Let's go back to C. Let's say I want to go into B quicker. So I hit B once. If I hit it a second time, that's gonna go in. But if I hit it a third time, it'll go in on that current bar. It'll change on that current bar. So that's a, if you just want a quick change but you want it to continue to change on a bar then you just hit it a third time so let's go back to C and then the last way to change variations is more of a fill effects kind of way of doing it so that's how you can remember it you're gonna use the fill button fill effects hold that and now you can instantly move to a different variation without changing the playhead there's no reset or anything like that so you can kind of use another variation as a fill. So that's a quick way to just move from variation to variation instantly. So again, now I'm gonna duplicate out from C to D to E, so I've got pattern data on all variations. And let's say I just wanna clear, clear those so I can start over. Again, same kind of logic. We're just going to hold the clear button and we'll just clear out B through E. So now you can see 
you know, we were listening to B at that time. So I cleared out B. Now we have no pattern data there. So I can go to A. And my A I didn't clear out. So I've still got that. So if you want to clear anything, just hold clear. You can do that for tracks, for variations, and for pages. So it's pretty useful. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to use our compose feature. What the compose feature is, is basically you can take two variations and chain them together in order to create a new variation. So to show you what I mean, I'm just going to play our pattern again. We're going to duplicate A, put it on B, and we'll change up B quite a bit, right? So we'll change up the kick drum pattern so we really know what's going on. And we'll make it one page long. We'll go over to A, we'll just make A one page long as well. I did that by holding pattern length and pressing the page. And so now, here's what B sounds like. I'm gonna change up the clap pattern, go back to A. So now we really know what A sounds like. So let's say we wanna play A three times and then have B be kind of our turnaround section. And we want that to be on a completely new variation. So I'm going to select C. This is the variation I'm editing. You can see that it's blank. Now I'm going to hold the compose button, press A three times. You can see this counter button counted up to three. And then I'm going to press B. Now it's up to four. That means that it's a four bar sequence now. If I let go, this all this data is now on variation C. So we can go look at it and then we can say go. And now we're playing variation C. And on the fourth bar of variation C, we're going to get that crazy pattern that we made on B. So the compose feature is a quick way to make longer variations out of shorter ones. So you can take two variations that are one bar a piece, play them one after another, and make that into a whole new variation with, without losing the data on the, on the original variations. You don't have to use a new blank variation. You can compose into, the very, into one of the variations that you were using. You can also just use it as kind of a copy extend feature as well. So one thing to note is that if you were going to be composing onto the variation that you're actually using as a compo to compose with, it's going to extend that variation out. So to show you what I mean, Here's the pattern. We're going to make pattern A, just make it one bar long. We're going to go through here and we're going to hit compose. So we go through here, we're going to hit compose, hit A three times, hit B. As you can see, this has already extended out this pattern. So it extends it as you're working on it. I definitely recommend using a blank variation, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So Again, this is an awesome thing to practice, really get familiar with and check out and then move on to the next video. Thanks for watching.